So, ang topic natin ngayon ay translating statements into mathematical expression. So, I have 15 examples. First three example muna yung answer natin and then next na naman yung the next three. So, for number one, 6 is less than 12. So, ang paggamit ng is dito ay, for example, ginagamit ang is kapag may equals or greater than signs or less than signs. Ganyan. So, ganyan yung paggamit ng is. So, 6 is less than 12, meaning, ang 6 daw ay mas maliit kaysa sa 12. So, less than 12. So, ganito lang yung mathematical expression for this statement, which is 6 is less than 12. Now, minsan naman, 6 is equal to 12. Is. So, gumagamit din ng word na is. So, pag 6 is equal to 12, so 6 is equal to 12. Ganyan lang. Now, for number 2, the square of the sum of the two numbers. Ang square daw ng sum ng dalawang numbers. Now, pag sinabing sum, ibig sabihin niyan addition, which means plus. Ang ibig sabihin naman ng square ay yung raised to 2. Yung example, may ano tayo, may number tayo, which is 2. And then, ang square na ibig sabihin ng square ay raised to 2. Ito yung exponent na 2 sa taas. Ang sabi dito, ang square daw ng sum ng dalawang numbers yun yung gagawin nating mathematical expression. Now, pag sinabihan kayo ng numbers, yung ganun lang, yung walang minention kung anong klaseng numbers, kung anong number yung dalawang number na minention dito, kayo na yung bahala mag-represent. So, commonly, ang ginagamit to represent a number is x, y, z. So, x, y, z. Now, eto kapag tatlo naman yung hinihingi na numbers. Now, kapag dalawa lang, mas magandang gamitin lang yung x pati y. Or, kasi minsan-minsan lang din ginagamit natin ang z. x and y ang parati natin ginagamit to represent a number. So, for this statement, gagamit tayo ng x and y na variables to represent yung sinasabi nating dalawang numbers dito sa statement. Okay, yung sabi dito, the square daw of the sum. So, ibig sabihin... Yung dalawang number, i-add mo, tapos yung sum nun, i-square mo. To represent that this statement, x plus y, ang gagamitin natin, di ba? And then, yung kapag i-add mo yung x plus y, i-square mo yung sum niya, kukunin mo yung square niya. So, gagamit ka lang ng parenthesis to represent the sum. Kasi x plus y, x plus y lang, hindi, hindi mo may ma-add yung x plus y Hindi siya magiging x, y. Hindi, hindi pwede yun, kasi ang x, y, x times y yun. Ito, x plus y. So, x plus y, and then kukunin mo yung square ng sum. So, lalagyan mo lang ng raised to 2. So, ganito yung pag-represent uh, for the square of the sum of the two numbers. So, ba pag i-add mo tong x plus y, makukuha mo na yung sagot. And then, yung sagot na yun, i kukunin mo yung square niya. O, for example, this x plus y, ang answer is, sabihin natin 4. And then, raised to 2 is equals to 16. 4 times 4 is equals to 16. So, ganito lang yung expression niya. Now, for number 3 naman, 8 less a number. Now, baka sasabihin yung 8 less a number. Parang 8 less a number. Ganito, 8 is less than. So, mali. Kasi, ito, hindi siya gumamit ng is. ba tandaan nyo, pag is less than, ganyan, ganito yung symbol na gagamitin. However, kapag sinabi na 8 less a number, minus to. Less. Yung 8 daw, minus ng number. So, 8 less a number. So, ganito lang yan. 8 minus x. Now, for number 4, ang sabi dito, the age of Anna 5 years ago. So, ibig sabihin, isusulat mo yung age ni Anna 5 years ago. Okay. Now, dito hindi mo alam yung age ni Anna 5 years ago. Pero, alam mo na yung present age ni Anna, example, this one, let x is equals to the present age of Anna. Now, yung ginamit ko na variable x, yan yung magre-represent sa age ni Anna ngayon. So, ibig sabihin, ang age ni Anna 5 years ago ay x minus 5. Diba? Kung example, si Anna ngayon ay sabihin natin uh, 20. And then, 5 years ago, so, pag sabi natin 20 to yung x, so 20, then minus 5. So, ibig sabihin, 5 years ago, ang age ni Anna ay 15. So, ganito lang yung 
mathematical expression sa statement na to x minus 5. Now, for the next, number 5 naman, the square root of a number. So, mas madali lang to. Diba, basta may sinabing a number, hanap ka lang or gagamit ka lang ng variable. Now, gagamit ka lang din ng isang variable kasi a number lang daw. So, ang gagamitin natin for this statement ay x lang. Pwede naman gumamit kayo ng y, depende yan, nasa sa inyo yan. And then, the square root of a number, yung square root naman, di ba ganito, yung symbol ng square root, ganyan. So, ibig, ang sabi dito, yung square root daw ng number na yun. So, ibig sabihin, ang square root ng x. So, ganyan lang yan. So, ito na yung answer, the square root of x. Okay, for number 6, ang sabi dito, the difference of two numbers is 45. So, meron na namang sinabing dalawang numbers. So, ha, magahanap ka naman or gagamit ka ng dalawang variables. So, gagamit tayo ng x and y for to represent the two numbers. So, ang sabi dito, difference. Pag may nababasa kayong difference, ibig sabihin yan, minus. Ima-minus mo yung dalawang numbers ang sabi dito. Tapos, yung answer, di ba may ginamit dito na is. So, ibig sabihin, ang is na to, representation to ng equal sign. Ganito yan. So, the difference of two numbers, so, x minus y is equals to 45. So, ganito lang yan. Yung dalawang numbers, yung x and y, yung difference na sinasabi, ima-minus mo yung two numbers na nire-represent mo, which is x and y, and then is 45. Ang meaning ng is ay equal sign, so equals 45. So, x minus y is equals to 45. So, ganito yung translation na into mathematical expression. For number 7 naman, 15 multiplied by a number. Na madali lang to kasi mapipili ka lang ng isang variable. So, gagamit lang din tayo ng x ulit. So, itong num a number, x to. Pwede kang gumamit ng y, z, a. Pwede kang gumamit ng ganun. Depende yan sa'yo. As long as tama yung pagkasulat mo ng ex mathematical expression. Now, 15 daw, imumultiply mo sa numbers. So, kung ano yung number na yun. So, yung sa atin, x. So, 15 times x. Or, pwede lang, mas maganda na ganito lang, 15x. ba 15 times x is 15x. Pwede naman ganito, 15 times x. Yung gagamit ka ng parenthesis. So, same lang yan. Actually, mas maganda yung ganito na way ng pag-show uh, sa 15 multiplied by a number, 15x. Okay, for number 8 naman, ang sabi dito, x plus a number. Now, ibig sabihin, may i-add ka sa x, x plus, automatic naman ang plus na to na sinasabi ay addition. Now, ang a number, hindi ka pwedeng gumamit ng x again kasi pag x yung gagamitin mo, ibig sabihin, hindi na yun siya another number. Kasi same sila ka ng value kapag mag-substitute ka ng, uh, ng number sa x. So, ibig sabihin, itong number, pili ka or you choose another a variable or letters. For example, this number na sinasabi dito ay y ang gamitin natin. Pwede namang a or z. So, sa atin ngayon, ang gagamitin natin ay y. So, ang sabi dito, x daw plus a number. So, ganyan lang yung mathematical expression ng statement na yan. So, for number 9, the product of 4 and a number is the square of the number. So, tandaan, may ginamit tayo na word dito na is. So, ibig sabihin, Kung ano yung nilagay dito, equals sa statement na to. Ganun lang yun. So, the product of 4 and a number equals sa the statement of the square of a number. So, now, una, una himul natin yung first statement. So, ang sabi daw, the product. So, pag product, ibig sabihin multiplication. Times. Times yan. The product daw ng 4 pati yung number. Okay, na pipili tayo na naman ng number ay ng uh, variable to represent the number. So, ngayon, x ulit ang gagamitin natin. Okay, yung product ng 4 at saka number, ibig sabihin, 4 times x or 4x. Pareho lang yun, 4 times x or 4x. Equals, kasi may is tayo na ginamit. Is daw the square of a number. Now, tandaan kung ano yung ginamit natin na number, na representation ng a numbers. Diba yung ginamit natin ay x? So, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin din natin dito ay the square of a number. Ibig sabihin, yung square of a number ay x raised to 2. Square. Square yan ang tawag yan, raised to 2. So, 4x is equals to x raised to 2. So, ito yung mathematical expression ng statement ng the product of 4 and a number is the square of a number. 
Okay, for number 10, ang sabi dito, 11 more a number. Now, hindi ito ibig sabihin ng 11 more than the number. For example, yung the number na pinili natin ay x. No, hindi ito, hindi ganito. Kung sinabing 11 is more than a number, ganun yung gagawin natin. Now, ito, 11 more a number. Ibig sabihin, unahin mo muna yung a number. So, pipiliin natin yung x na variable to represent the number. Ibig sabihin, 11 plus x. Yung more dito, addition to siya. So, add. So, yung 11, i-add mo sa, i-add mo yung a number. So, 11 plus x. So, 11 more a number. So, ganito yung mathematical expression niya. Now, for number 11, the sum of 4 and a number. So, madali lang to. Kasi ang, ang sum dito, ang ibig sabihin ng sum ay plus. Always naman, pa sa sum na sinasabi, addition talaga yan. Of, uh, the sum of 4 and a number. Ibig sabihin, ang sum daw, or yung answer daw, ng 4 pati nung number. Now, if this number is x, therefore, ang mathematical expression ay 4 plus x. Now, kung gusto nyo naman ng y, 4 plus y. Kung gusto nyo ng a, 4 plus a. Pareho lang yun. Representation lang yun ng the num a number na sinabi sa statement. So, ito yung mathematical expression for this statement. For number 11. Now, for number 12 naman, the product of 3 and the square of a number. Now, tandaan, sinabi dito na the product. Ibig sabihin, multiply natin. Pag product, multiplication yan. Times. The product of 3 daw, pati ng square ng number. Now, ano yung number? Pipili ka na naman again ng variable. Now, sabihin natin, this number is x. So, the product of 3 and the square of a number. So, yung 3 daw, kukunin, yung product kasi yung answer ng kapag may multiply ka na dalawang val ng 2 or more values. So, yung dalawang val dito, may dalawa tayong value, which is 3 and a number. Sinabi dito, ang product daw ng 3, pati yung square ng number. Now, kapag yung pinili natin ay x, so 3x. Pero, ang, sin ang sinabi dito, the square daw ng number. So, ibig sabihin, 3x raised to 2. So, ganyan. So, x raised to 2. 3x raised to 2. Pwede namang 3 times x raised to 2. Pero, mas maganda yung ganito yung pagkasulat nyo. 3x raised to 2. Okay, for number 13, the quotient of 7 and the difference of a number and 2. So, tandaan, may sinabi ditong the quotient. Yung quotient, answer to ng division. So, ibig sabihin, magde-divide tayo. Now, may sinabi din dito na difference. So, ibig sabihin, may ima-minus ka. Minus. Natin ganyan. Difference kasi ay ang sagot ng subtraction. Okay, ang sabi dito, yung quotient daw ng 7 and the difference of a number and 2. Now, yung number, magre-represent tayo as, i-represent natin yung number na sinasabi dito as x. So, difference of x and 2. So, unahin muna natin yung difference of x and 2. So, difference of x in, and 2 is x minus 2. Pero, ang sinabi dito, the quotient daw of 7 and the difference of number and 2. So, ibig sabihin, yung 7, pati yung difference ng number and 2, i-divide mo yun siya. So, isulat natin yun into mathematical expression, pwede ganito. Let's say ganito. Oh. Uh, 7 divided by x minus 2. Ganyan. Now, ang mas magandang representation ng statement na to ay ganito. 7 over x minus 2. Kasi kung ano man yung x na, ng value ng x, pag minus mo sa 2, yung answer nun ipang divide mo sa 7. So, 7 divided by x minus 2. Tapos, ito na yung sinasabing the quotient of 7 and the difference of a number and 2. So, ganito, 7 divided by x minus 2. For number 14 naman, 5 more than 3 times a number is 26. Now, tandaan, yung more than dito, walang sinabing 5 is more than. So, ibig sabihin, hindi tayo gagamit nung sign na ganito. Yung example, may 5 is more than. Hindi tayo gagamit ng ganitong sign. Yung ganito. Ang ibig sabihin lang ng more than ay addition. More than. Di ba? May mga less than, ganito. So, yung more than dito ay addition to plus. So, ibig sabihin, may ipa-plus tayo sa 5. Now, sabi dito, 
5 more than 3 times a number. So, yung number, representation na lang natin as, i-represent natin as x. Tapos, yung is na gamit dito ay equals to the equal sign. Diba? Sinabi ko kanina na yung is, ginagamit yan for equal sign or yung ginagamit din for more uh, is more than, is less than, yung ganito na sign. So, for this statement, ang sabi dito, 5 more than plus 3 times a number. So, ibig sabihin, 3 times x. Kasi x man yung number natin na represent, representation for the number. And then, is, ibig sabihin ng is equals 26. So, 26. So, 5 plus 3x is equals to 26. So, ganito yung mathematical expression para sa number 14 na statement. Now, for our last example in translating statements into mathematical expression, itong number 15. So, ang sabi dito, the difference of a number and 6 then doubled. Okay. Yung difference, di ba? Paulit-ulit ko na sinabi kanina na yung difference ay minus. Tandaan natin, basta ang difference ay minus. Anong ibig sabihin ng difference ay ang answer ng subtraction. Yung pag may, din, may minus ka ng two or more numbers, ang tawag, sa kan, ang tawag sa answer nila ay difference. Okay. Yung difference daw ng number at saka ng 6. Ibig sabihin, x minus 6. So, ganun lang yun. Pero may kadugtong pa siya na statement, then double daw. Ibig sabihin, yung difference na to, ita times mo lang by 2. Ganyan. Lagyan mo lang ng parenthesis. Kasi, ibig sabihin yung, pag mag minus ka, x minus 6, yung answer niyan, ita times mo lang by 2. Kasi, double daw, idodoble mo lang. So, kaya x minus 6 times 2. So, pag mga ganitong problem, try to practice translating statements into mathematical expression. So, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you've learned something. Thank you for watching.